Hello Internet! Today in this tutorial I'm going to animate portrait pictures in 3D in After Effects. And we are going to work on famous movie stars. And to do this I used a template called Volumax 3D Photo Animator and you can find it on Envato. You can animate a lot of things like landscapes, portraits and many other subjects. And there are plenty of video tutorials included to learn you all this. Volumax was used by a lot of big studios all around the world for TV shows, broadcasting, documentaries or movies. The setup in After Effects is quite easy and fast. It's based on a wire mesh that has to be adjusted on your picture. Just choose your angle and push the mesh to make it fit. Exactly like the liquify tool in Photoshop. There is no complex real 3D here. Ok, so uh, we are now in Volumax here in After Effects. Uh, we are going to insert our picture and good news for you guys, we are going to work on Scarlett Johansson. So I'm going to drag and drop it in After Effects and I'm going to put it in my Your Picture composition. Now I'm going to go into your displacement map and I'm going to activate the 3D portrait tool here. I'm going to double click on it and go uh, in, the, in the composition. So here uh, I can see a wire mesh of a guy in blue and I'm going to put uh, select a woman instead. And I'm going to choose an angle. Um, you can change the angle of the wireframe like this. So she's facing us. I'm going to adjust it between the eyes like this. Okay. I'm going to scale it to do the first basic adjustment. And now I'm going to use the tool uh, in the effects panel to adjust and to push and match the wireframe on the picture. So this is quite simple, you can see here I'm just moving the wireframe so it's going to match on the nose here and then I'm going to do the mouth, the eyes, the ears, everything and the edges of the face. Ok, so this is nice. I'm going to un uncheck the wire mode here so I can show the black and white depth map of the, um, of the portrait. And you can see that it's already working nicely here when I move in real time in the main comp. But we can see that uh, the hair is missing in the 3D animation. So I'm going back, uh, going back in the wire mode too. And I'm going to add uh, background objects and foreground objects to create the volume of the hair. So I'm going to start by the background object and I'm going to select create a mask uh, of the edges of the hair. I'm going to create a foreground object here by selecting uh, the hair like this. Let's say it's the mid-ground uh, in our picture. It's at the same distance uh, than the, the cheeks. So it should be at the same grey uh, level than the cheeks or the eyes. Ok, this should be nice. I'm going to create the last foreground object for the hair in the foreground. So the hair in the foreground uh, in the grayscale value of the depth map should be at the same level than the nose and very bright.
So now I'm going to show the gray values by uh, unchecking my wireframe mode. And I'm going to adjust the color. I'm going to take the nose for the foreground here. For the midground, I'm going to take uh, maybe the side of the face over here. And for the background, I'm going to take the darkest color of the portrait. And that's it. Uh, we're going just to put uh, a little bit of blur uh, on the edges of uh, the mask over here to make all the hair a little bit smoother. Okay, so now I'm going back in the main comp. I'm going to adjust the relax of the 3D. So I want it sharper. I'm going to put a low value and the boost, I'm going to low it a little bit. And now I can move in real time in my picture in 3D. And this works quite nicely here. I'm going to create animation keys at the beginning and at the end of my animation, like this. So now I see it's moving in my composition. So now I'm going to show you the parallax tool included in Volumax. Uh, you can use high values in landscapes, but you have to keep it very low in portraits like this. And you can see our controller is on the left. So I'm going to put some left value, a very low value, maybe at 49 here. And I'm going to create an animation just like this. I'm going at the end and I'm going to put a little bit of right value on the parallax, let's say 51. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, dirt and dust uh, in my 3D space over here. So it's going to enhance the 3D impression when it's going to be animated. I'm going to add some flares here and choose uh, one of the included ones, like this. Let's say the light is coming from the right, so I'm going to choose a right flare. I'm going to show you all the color corrections included in Volumax. You can do a lot of things here, like a basic exposure, gamma, or some uh, presets like the Instagram uh, red, green or blue effects. You can do some vignetting. And the most interesting, I think, is the light leaks over here. There are animated light leaks uh, on your animation. And you can change the color. Okay, so uh, everything is okay now to do a preview. Okay, this is nice. So as you can see in this tutorial, the setup was really fast to do. I did it in four minutes. You can also add some text or objects in the 3D space of uh, Volumax. Here I'm going to put uh, text so you can see how it moves uh, with uh, your animation automatically. You can change, of course, the text, the size and the position in 3D space. And here you can see the exported final results. Thank you for watching. Bye.